Good morning. Today we are making tree skirts. Lindsay got these at the dollar store. She got herself some, so I had her go back, and the guy even remembered her buying these. So, what we're going to do, make sure you comment, because what are we giving away today? I'll give two fat quarters away. And so, um, we made these. It came with, I gotta find, oh my gosh, it was like, oh, it's over there, Lindsay. It's like really gaudy. It's right here. I mean, it looks Christmassy. It's cute, but it's, it's okay. So I copied the pattern. Thanks, honey. I copied the pattern and I thought I'd bling it up. So she got these darling little Christmas trees. And then she's got a third one for me to do with glue. So I thought this was so cute. And I love the fact I had, of course, I had the fabric that matched. So what you do is you get two pieces of fabric coordinating. And it's about 20 by 20. That's approximate. I just folded it over. And I copied the pattern. And then this is going to go with this. Okay. Then I put my fusible sure tailor i made 18 and a half approximately by width of fabric and that's you know this is how wide it is and then i did two for this one the buffalo check one the red and black is two lengths of six inches for the prairie points and i made it into rickrack of course you need your 28 millimeter rotary cutter by clover this is two coordinating colors to make the prairie points and it's four and a quarter four and a quarter sewed them together by length of fabric so it'd be two lengths so you would have 84 inches or 80 and then so two cuts so of each color and then this is a three quarter inch bias tape and I did cut it on the bias because you're going in the round okay so I put them all three together and this is on the fold and then Lindsay she made them quick and easy because she's going on a cruise and she did this to put in the rooms that they're on their cruise ship and then she made one for Jada's boyfriend too and she did it in Star Wars yeah. which is really cute and she was smart and she took the fur off the other one and then just sewed it and did it really, really quick. And I mean, how cute is that? And then she did Star Wars. I think it's it's absolutely darling. So then I just cut this out and then I use a rotary cutter and did all along. And then I did them all three at one time. And then your fold is here. And then you just cut it all the way around like that. Okay. So then you end up like this. Okay. So then I ironed on the wrong side of my buffalo check or whichever fabric you have, my sure tailor. So it's got a little stiffness so it looks nice. So then all I'm going to do is put on my quarter inch. So I'm just going to sew. And then what I did was do so you don't, you want to leave an opening. So I marked this to leave open. I'm going to backstitch on both because you want to pull it through. Now let me go this way. And I'm just going to sew the quarter inch. Make sure you comment. I'm just going to sew off the end. All the way around this whole thing. I think they're so cute. This is my kind of tree. My mother lived on the farm and then my dad in his 40s, he found out he had mitral valve problems from having rheumatic fever. He 
doctor said if he didn't change the sessions, he would die. So, he sold the farm eventually and did both jobs for a while and he bought a mobile home, he started a mobile home park and he lived on the Fox River and had this pretty, pretty house and it had a decking all the way around it. My mom made us put up five trees. I really dislike to put up tall Christmas trees. Well, in Wisconsin, it is very cold. So, needless to say, I don't like putting up Christmas trees. Because my mom would sit in the house and she'd tell us where to put the ornaments and where to put the lights. And I don't... I just don't like to put up Christmas trees because she OD'd me. I just don't like it at all. This is my size of Christmas tree. Because I'm not exactly tall either. And Brian likes to buy like these tall, 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 tall Christmas trees. That you have to have a ladder to get on. And I'm not a tall, tall Christmas tree person. I don't mind doing all the decorating as far as like the meals and the napkins and all that stuff. I love that stuff. But the other stuff? Nah. Okay, so we got the pens. I am the pen queen. Now I'm going to clip the corners. And then just like with my rulers, clip this and clip this. Then what I do is I cut around this and just put little cuts so it lays really well. Just two not through the stitch line. And this does not have to be perfect, believe me. And then what I do is I cut this an eighth of an inch from my sew line all the way around. Oh, next week, Thursday, I have a bone spur on my shoulder, so I'm having surgery. So after the 16th, I won't be until the first of the year. I will be here next Wednesday, but the next two Wednesdays, is, is it two Wednesdays, mm -hmm. Lindsay? I think so. After, I will be in a sling, so I won't be able to do a show. So I apologize, but I need to get it off. And this way you don't have to do any clipping all the way around. It just is awesome. It just saves you time. I'm all into saving time. 
because we're also busy this time of the year. And Lindsay will put a pattern of this. So if you want to get a little tree, I don't know if they have any left at the dollar store. She went out a bunch of different stores to find it. She said you could try using pink and shears. Yeah, I've done that too. It's just that I grab whatever's available. I think I have some over here. Yep, I do. But I do better with small shears because I have small hands. So I do better with small shears. Okay, then you find your hole and just pull it all out. I just think it's so cute. This is my kind of tree because I don't like big trees. But my mom loved trees, but she didn't want to do them. Oh my gosh, she was, my mom was a character. She didn't know how to sew on a button. She'd throw a shirt away before, but she had a really good sense of color. She could make anything look nice. Her mom had tuberculosis, so she... They put them in a sanitarium in those days. She was in there from the time my mom was five until she died at seven, so my mom really didn't have a mom. But she was a really good mom. I always knew you were loved. She'd tell you a hundred times a day how much she loved you. She was strict. <laughs> and when my dad died, what kept her alive was Jada, Lindsay's little girl. Someday I'll have to show you a dance. She had a little dog named, what was that dog's name? Ginger. Ginger. And Jada used to take a towel. It was so cute. And it was like she was a little bull. This dog would go through it. It was so cute. Now she's 18. Okay, you girls know how to do this. Okay. Then it will look like this. Then all you have to do is fold and iron in where you have your opening. And then I'm going to just rock it and find out where so I can iron it, make it look nice. Probably if this was something a little more important. <laughs> I would take a pin to it because I'm kind of nuts. Yeah, it's always a Christmas tree. Yeah. Where did you get the red flag? I found mine at Walmart. She, found, I have, I had this. I bought it a long time ago. I think it's a Riley Blake. I bought it a long, long time ago. I'll just show the back of mine. It was. Walmart for in a fat quarter, which is a perfect size. Oh yeah, she got it. You gotta hold it up. Lynn's found it at Walmart in a fat quarter. It was like three dollars or $2. like three dollars. I never go shopping, girls. When I'm home, I don't want to go anywhere. It's really bad. I be cut. I come become a hermit. A total hermit when I'm home. 
because all I want to do is sew and get my stuff done and, you know, it's pretty bad, actually. So I'm going to change my stitch length to a three. And I'm just going to sew. Just top stitch all the way around. Anyways, I have always loved it. It's timeless. It never goes out. It's cute as a button. It's warm. It makes you feel like a nesty. Sure that you enclose this close enough because we have the opening here. Then, this is my one and a half inch prairie point. And then you've seen my demos of how to do it. Well, you want the end finished so there's no raw edges. So you open up the end, you flip it over. Then all I'm going to do is cut it. So there's no raw edges there. And then I will glue it. And I'll use some fray check on it. And then I fray check every corner. Okay, and when you put this on, because it is in the round and this is not done on the bias, and you could do it on the bias, and I thought, oh, afterwards maybe I should have not cut the thing on the bias. You kind of got to work with it because it kind of fights you. But if you play with it as you go along, it works pretty darn well. And then all I did was put it all the way around and top stitch all the way around. And voila, you have the cutest little tree skirts. Or you can put it here and then put a bias tape all the way around. And I just think they look just as cute as a button. So I'm going to give two fat quarters away. Actually, I think I'll do... Yeah. I think I'll do these. A buffalo check and a 
Pat Farr, and Karen Withhauser. Congratulations. Thank you for watching. Have a fabulous week. And just thank you. Are God there raw seams that are exposed? Is there any raw seams no, on? because they're sewn down. You have to explain that part. Okay. When you fold this down, there's going to be a little raw edge here. But when you put the fray check, it's not going to be, it's not going to go anywhere. But when you, once you sew this down, you're going to sew right along the edge here. Okay. Here, I'll have you show it. So you sew all the way around there. So you're not going to have to worry if you wash it or anything. It's going to be fine. I've made a ton of napkins that way where I weave them both together. I've washed them. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times. And they always look really, really like they're brand new. So I've never had an issue with it. But they're cute. Weave two of them together. They're cute just alone. They're cute just like this. They're cute in a border on a quilt. They just look really, really, really cute. Are you going to be at the expo in March? We, yeah, probably. I don't even, I haven't looked up at the schedule at all. So probably. <laughs> so God bless all of you and have a wonderful week and we'll see you next week.